MCOCAL is a plant variety management company that partners with breeding programs, nurseries, fruit growers, and fruit marketers across the country and around the world. MCOCAL administers the intellectual property rights of plant varieties developed by leading plant breeders and institutions. Our firm has generated over $60 million for the breeding programs it represents, including the University of Florida, the University of Arkansas, the USDA, in conjunction with Oregon State University and Washington State University, as well as international programs such as the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries from Queensland, Australia, INA from Uruguay, and the Macias Ciscar program from Spain, amongst others. Our founder, Roy Eklund, began as a plant broker and later expanded into plant variety management, representing the University of Florida strawberry varieties. More recently, UF developed a highly productive and early harvesting winter strawberry, Florida Radiance. MCOCAL protected this fruit worldwide as the Florida Fortuna. Fortuna is so profitable for growers that it accounts for over half of the strawberries grown in Spain. Altogether, the UF varieties have obtained a substantial market share in key winter producing countries such as Egypt, Morocco, and Turkey. Dr. Vance Whitaker, the head breeder at UF, has been releasing several new varieties to further improve the economics of growers and the shipping quality of the fruit which ensures good flavor for the consumer. Through our more recently contracted breeding programs, we now represent two of the world's most renowned rubus breeding programs, blackberries from the University of Arkansas and both raspberries and blackberries with the USDA, breeding in conjunction with Oregon State University, as well as their promising new blueberry varieties, in addition to their strawberry breeding program. Most recently, we've expanded our relationship with the University of Florida to include its world-famous mandarin and orange varieties, as we now diversify into the global tree fruit industry. MCOCAL works alongside the highly regarded University of Arkansas Blackberry Breeding Program. Driven by internationally renowned plant breeder Dr. John R. Clark, the Arkansas program developed the commercial Primacane Fruiting Blackberry line. In the 1990s, University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture scientists created the first Primacane Fruiting Blackberry varieties. and. This has a trait known as primacane fruiting, where flowers are born on first-year canes. Primacane fruiting allows production of berries both in the summer and fall, a unique trait discovered by the division scientists some years ago. MCOCAL also works with the prestigious Washington State University Raspberry Breeding Program, led by Dr. Patrick Moore. We just released a new cultivar, Cascade Harvest, it's larger fruited than either Meeker or Willamette. It machine harvests very well. It's somewhat resistant to root rot, and it also has very nice flavor. MCOCAL is also proud of its partnership with the Agricultural Research Service of the United States Department of Agriculture. The USDA ARS has entrusted MCOCAL with the exclusive management of the varieties developed through its blackberry, raspberry, blueberry, and strawberry breeding programs. The program was started in about 1927, 1928. As far as we can tell, it's the oldest blackberry breeding program that's still, still going in the world. The late Dr. Chad Finn served as the chief USDA research geneticist. Dr. Finn developed some of the world's most flavorful berry varieties in use today. The program developed Marion Blackberry is probably one of our biggest claims to fame. Marion have been the predominant variety in the industry for decades. The USDA program has also developed some of the most promising primacane fruiting raspberries, such as Kokanee. Our breeding program developed the variety Kokanee, which are primacane fruiting varieties that worked very well in areas such as the Mediterranean Basin, Peru, Mexico, and the United States. One of the newest and exciting releases developed by the USDA and Oregon State University is a promising blueberry, Mini Blues. I'm Bernadine Strick, I'm a professor in the Department of Horticulture, and I'm also the Berry Crops Research Leader here, where we are today at the North Willamette Research and Extension Center. So I'm standing in a Mini Blues field here, because one of my key roles is I do research trials with a goal of understanding how to best manage these plants with various kinds of treatments so that growers can make the highest yield at the lowest input costs with the highest quality. 
The treatment I'm standing by has not been pruned for two winters and we still have really good average fruit quality. And that's huge because if our growers don't need to prune for a winter or two or three, that saves a lot of labor. So this is really exciting. And because a lot of the color and flavor is in the skin, then when you eat a handful of berries like this, whether it be fresh or processed, it's simply outstanding with regard to flavor and aroma. MCOCAL is delighted to be representing a private breeding program from Spain, Masia Ciscar. In just their second year of commercial activities, their strawberries have captivated the highly demanding UK market, with an important presence in Tesco, Sainsbury, Marks & Spencer, as well as several other leading British retailers. Here at MCOCAL, we are excited about the recent expansion of our foundational relationship with the University of Florida. We have been entrusted with managing not only two remarkable mandarin varieties, but also a line of eight oranges, both juicers and seedless eaters. We are looking forward to introducing Florida oranges in citrus groves around the world. The first citrus variety we began managing is the Sugar Bell brand LB8-9 mandarin variety. Hello there, I'm Fred Gemitter, citrus breeder and geneticist, professor at the University of Florida's Citrus Research and Education Center in Lake Alfred, Florida. We're here today looking at LB8-9, also known by the trademark name of Sugar Bell. It's a variety that's been available to growers in Florida and soon around the world. Aside from having a fantastic fruit, excellent quality, this tree is perhaps the most tolerant thing we know today against citrus greening, Huang Lung Bing disease. We released this variety just as greening was taking off in the state of Florida. They continue to produce good crops of fruit year in and year out. In our experience in Florida, this is clearly the most tolerant of the citrus varieties that we have in production. Hi, my name is Vance Whitaker. I'm the strawberry breeder at the University of Florida. And I just want to say a few words about Eklund Marketing. It's really been a pleasure to work with them over the last over eight years that I've been here at the University of Florida. The relationship that University of Florida has with Eklund Marketing for the international marketing of our strawberry varieties is incredibly strategic. Really, the royalties that come through the Florida Strawberry Growers Association from Eklund Marketing is the majority of the funding that we use to run the strawberry breeding program. So we are highly indebted to the work that they do and have depended on it to grow and expand and make our breeding program better. Hi, how are you? My name is Jesus Valdez, a managing partner, partner from uh, Mainland Farms. We have been working with uh, MCOCAL since, the, since we founded the company in 2011. Working with MCO has been very easy because the communication is open 24 hours a day. They have been very supporting when we have any issues that we have during the, the season. They see us as a part of their team. It's not a customer supplier relationship, it's more like a a very tight relationship between the, between the two. We work together to provide the best alternative in terms of plants to the growers. I am Vania. I'm Leo. And, and we are the Finca La Cantadora. We have a good experience uh, work with MCOCAL with uh, blackberries, strawberries, and raspberries. Thank you, MCOCAL, for all support. MCOCAL's corporate philosophy has been do well by doing good. Through a number of U.S.-sponsored AID programs, MCOCAL has transformed the economy of villages in developing countries, creating a higher standard of living. In an effort to give back to the community of our high-value markets, MCOCAL developed its Stay Active and Healthy campaign. These events, sponsored by our premium fruit, Florida Fortuna, benefit the consumers through free healthy fruit samples, the growers through free publicity, and MCOCAL through increased brand recognition. Looking forward, our new management team is already implementing new strategies and projects which generate significant sales and growth into the future.